here I am on my test bench and I'm going to test the SE5-1000 for for microwaves. I'm using the RF meter, acoustometer, model AM110 and right now I'm just picking up any background radiation fields. This is testing mainly microwave fields but we have both analog and digital pulses being measured. The peak pulses on the left are the digital bursts and on the right we have the average which would be the analog fields and they're measured in one microwatt per square meter. But the peak as you can see it going up and down this is just background noise coming in probably from cell towers possibly Wi-Fi and they come in short bursts and then they die down for a while. So basically this is our this is our mean right here. This is the best I could find in terms of a spot that doesn't have very much signals. So now I'm going to turn on the SE5-1000 and we'll see if there's any change in the meter. I'm going to go right up to it. As you can see there's basically no microwaves coming off of the SE5-1000 at all. Here's right over the stick plate. So we have about the same amount of background radiation that we had before. Now we're seeing some action, but I'll turn off the SE5 and we'll see if that's just background noise or if it's actually coming from the SE5. Now the SE5 is off and we're still picking up about the same, which goes up to about 0.1 peak volts per meter, sometimes 0.2. I'll turn the SE5 back on. and basically no change. So there's very little, if any, microwaves coming off the SE5-1000. Next we'll test for general magnetic and expanded magnetic and electric. So in this next test I'm going to use a tri-field meter which will check for electric, magnetic, and expanded magnetic fields as well as radio and microwave. So first I'm going to start with the SE5 off. I'll turn it off and I'm going to check my battery first. Okay, battery's good. And then we'll check for expanded magnetic. Now, on right on the laying it right on the SE5, you'll see that the meter doesn't move at all with it off. But if I come up close to this lamp, you can see that it goes pretty strongly as I get closer to the light. So that's an energy saver bulb and they have quite a bit of magnetic field around them. So now I'm going to turn the SE5 on and the meter just barely, barely moves at all. There's just a little bit of fluctuation way down about between 0 and 1. Now let me turn the lamp off just to make sure that we're not picking up any extra from the lamp. It looks about the same. Okay, so now we'll check on magnetic level. Magnetic level, go right up to the SE5, and that's zero. Electric is also zero. And radio and microwave. And that's also zero as we saw on our acoustometer, which is a little bit better measuring device for digital microwaves. So now I'm going to turn the lamp on. I'll just check the lamp. So no microwaves or radio waves coming from the lamp. Go to electric, and the electric, even from the lamp this far away, I'm probably two feet away from the lamp is already showing some electric field and as we get closer to the lamp of course it goes way higher but with the SE5 with the lamp off basically there's no electric field and on magnetic there's zero 
and then also on expanded magnetic it's between zero and about half of one which is way down below any type of threshold that would be considered problematic.